Hi everyone, welcome to our first, oh, I messed that up already, Jim, I'm sorry. Hi, I'm Tiffany Collinsworth, and welcome to the FLX Made Podcast right here on FingerLakes1.com and FingerLakes1TV. We have our featured products on this show. We have a spotlight on great products right here in the Finger Lakes region of upstate New York, and Victor-based Stonehurst Brands is going to be our featured product today that's recently announced their first product which is 1961 vodka and the ultra premium vodka is produced from finger lakes grown soft white wheat and it is uh, carefully handcrafted in small batches small batches and it's distilled in king ferry which is in cuga county five times and then it's hand uh, it's hand Bottled to ensure a clean, crisp taste and smooth finish. Not to mention, um, we have a bottle of it right here for you guys to take a look at. It's absolutely beautiful bottle, beautifully made. And luckily, joining us today, we have Teresa Parsons, who was a resident of Seneca Falls and happens to be one of the founders of the Stonehurst Brands. Thank you for joining me today, and welcome to our podcast. I really am looking forward to trying a little bit of the product that you brought with you. We've got a bunch of it coming in today. Um, Now tell me a little bit about where the 1961 vodka product came from. Tell me a little bit about your story. This has been a a few year process. Uh, It's four uh, managing partners that all live on the same street. Um, So this has been kind of a crazy idea that started at a neighborhood party. Um, At a party? At a party. (laughs) I'm not sure who's... uh, we wanted to make a, one of the members wanted to just have a classic martini. And mm-hmm. the only thing available was a flavored vodka, um, which is very popular, but we just wanted a regular standard dirty martini. And the conversation said, you know, we should make our own vodka. And that offhanded comment actually grew to what is 1961 vodka today. Oh, wow. And so, where did the uh, Stonehurst brand come from? We live on a street called... Um, well, on Stonely Trail in Victor, New York. So it's sort of a play on where we lived, our neighborhood. So. Now, why did you choose King Ferry as the distillery place? You know, we really looked, we really wanted the product to be made in New York State. I mean, when we really started to get serious about this, we said, there's really all of the natural resources right here in New York State. Mm-hmm. You know, when you think of your luxury brand vodkas, so many of them that are just a classic vodka are imported. Mm -hmm. And so we've got what it takes right here in New York State to do this. And so we looked at different uh, distillers in the area to partner with. And uh, we decided to use Lake Distilling, which as you said is in King Ferry, New York. Mm -hmm. Um, Dave Smith is our head distiller and he, we think he makes a lovely, lovely product. Now what's the benefit of doing it five times? Now that we said in the intro that you, you distill it five times. What is the benefit of doing that? So the whole process starts, I'm going to back up, starts right in his fields. He grows mm-hmm. his own soft white wheat. And the softer the wheat, it has a lower uh, protein in it, and it yields a smoother flavor. Mm-hmm. So he grows the wheat on premise, he mills it, and then brings it right into the distillery. Um, and after that fermenting process, you go through the distillation process, um, you're trying to just get down to your pure ethanol alcohol, which is which is what we consume. So mm-hmm. the more times that you distill it, the more impurities and the more, um, they call it the heads and tails. Uh, so there's different, um, as that heats up, right, you're heating this, this fermentation up, and what rises out of there is your alcohols. Yeah. But it's not just your ethanol, there's other alcohols that come out. So the more times you distill it, you're getting that out of there and just the more getting down it to becomes. it, more pure the heart of the product. It's 80 proof, right? Yes, 80 it proof, is. Ooh, it's strong. <laughs> <laughs> now, did um, the did it come into play, what what benefits of the Finger Lakes? Because we're really well known for wine, we're really well known for you know up and coming breweries, and now you're one of the m- first vodka Brewery, yeah, distillery. you know, it's, it's, there's, this is a, a growing, growing segment. Um, there's a recent report that the state put out, actually. In 2011, I think there were like maybe 10 um, farm distilleries, and now there's 42. Mm-hmm. So I think this is a market that you're going to see growing and growing. And same thing that you see with uh, wines, right? We've got, it's called climate here. So if you think about where wheat is grown for for bread and consumption, you know, the, the bread basket is out in the Midwest and you've got high, hot summers, and that actually yields a wheat that has a higher protein. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I want for spirits, I want a soft, 
you know, when Something. we say with a low protein in our mm -hmm. cool climate is it's perfect, for, perfect that. for that. It's not something that you would be known to to come around here. Grapes, yes, but wheat, it's up and coming. Right. I like the sound of that. Right. Something new, fresh, something different for people to get excited about and something that we'll be developing in the area. Now, this is the first product that you guys have released. Yes. Is there future products coming out? We, we do can have be expecting? future plans, um, but there really would be, you know, three to five years out. Oh, okay. So we really would like to grow the market right here in New York State move into other markets first with the 1961 vodka and then layer other things in after. This is handcrafted in small batches. Now, how small are we talking? Like, what is the, um, what is the release rate for the year? So, you know, and actually, um, uh, Dave's distillery is really kind of mid-sized. He's got quite a bit of capacity that he can do each year. Um, but it's still hand-bottled. Mm -hmm. um, we do really maybe 100 cases at a time. Oh, wow. So as we do this, and, and um, I should kind of qualify, most cases are 12 bottles. We just have a six bottle case. So and they come say 50. in the one liter? Just the one liter size. That, that's still plenty. <laughs> that's still plenty. plenty. You don't need a lot to make a the lovely drink. So. Now, um, what are some ways to prepare the vodka? What other way, what ways can you be serving it? Right, that's a great question. And um, if you go to our website, we actually developed several recipes that we put yeah, on it. We've that. <laughs> um, but today I brought um, some samples of two drinks that are very different from each other. So okay. one is called the Blast Off. And if you can see, we've got this garnished with a jalapeno. So oh, this boy. is, and it's called the 1961 Blast Off. So back in 1961, it was the first year we put a man in space. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of a tribute to that. And having just recently celebrated Cinco de Mayo, which is traditionally a tequila, mm -hmm. tequila holiday, this is sort of our, our uh, I don't know, uh, what I'm trying to say, kind of a nod to, to that day. Mm -hmm. So the recipe here is ginger and jalapeno. So you take two slices of each. Okay. Um, and then you do a half an ounce of agave syrup. And then agave. Four, yes. Okay. Yes, you could substitute a simple syrup, but the agave gives it a, a nice taste Extra. as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and then it's um, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, mm -hmm. and then two ounces of vodka. And so, the the results. I, I'm not a hot person at no. all, but I really like. Hot. This is my. Favorite. I'm getting nervous. I'm not a hot person either. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. It's not. It's not. The hot. <laughs> there's no heat like you would think, like you have from a jalapeno pepper in Mexican okay. food. Um, between the ginger and the jalapeno. Because it's just a nice, a nice warm there. So I'm try a little bit of that. I get the there. fancy glass. So. That's right. Well, let's cheers. Cheers. 1961 vodka. I like it. That's sweeter than I would have anticipated. Yeah, that agave syrup takes the the, the edge off the edge off of, the of heat. it. Yeah. Um, and then it's the, beautifully finished. I love that. I'm going to go for a second I, sip. This is, you know, I was a little nervous to try this when we first. I said, "Oh, why this is this?" And why me. is there a jalapeno in there? Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is now my go-to. And this is go available on the website. Yes, all oh, of these delicious. Yep. And then I also brought um, an oh, old-fashioned, which is typically made, you know, with a bourbon. But this is our vodka take on it, okay. and this features. Um, this is not uh, made in the Finger Lakes, but in Rochester, New York, there's a company called Fee Brothers. Okay. They've been around since 1864. Okay, so a while. A while. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like uh, Ghoul's Pumps on the Street, right? Over 150 years. And these yes. guys are celebrating 150 years this year. Um, and they make bitters. So all sorts of, that you just put a dash of this and a dash of that in different cocktails. Um, I'm learning a whole bunch of new stuff today. Yes, uh, we got to go and, and visit. And so this, you're going to ask what is oh, yeah. this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this concoction I'm pouring you, Tiffany. This is very simple. This is simple syrup um, with a few dashes of orange bitters mm -hmm. and vodka. And then we garnish it with a cherry and a little slice of orange. So unlike the first drink I'd let you try, this is a little bit sweeter. Mm -hmm. Okay. But still Cheers. refreshing with our citrus. Now is this something that you do normally? You just you, do you do you smell yeah. vodka? It's like a wine. I'm not it really tends to be seasoned a very in this. Neutral spirit. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, ours. A lot of people say they they taste like a just if you tried it plain, a little hint of vanilla or citrus. Some people. I'm smelling pick up those notes. I, I am smelling a little vanilla. Or maybe it's the orange. I have no idea what I'm smelling, but it smells <laughs> delicious. Now that's even softer than that. That's a smoother finish even than that. It's delicious. 
Oh, I don't know. So I don't know which one I prefer. I, they're very different, but I thought, well, I'll let, show you a couple different. And these are, you know, a little bit different than your traditional uh, dirty martini, mm -hmm. um, cosmopolitan. We have some lovely cosmopolitan drinks on the website as well. But I thought I would bring something that's not your standard. Traditional. Yes. yes. I, I really enjoyed that. Now, vodka is really not in my forte. Mm -hmm. I'm a more of a wine drinker because it's so harsh usually when you're drinking it, especially when you mix it with certain things. But that went down f so smoothly that it, it didn't really burn my throat, didn't make me want to be like, woo! <laughs> I, I do it's have delicious. a confession to make. So getting into the vodka business, for many years I didn't drink vodka because I only knew it to burn, burn. all the way down. And I just, mm -hmm. and so it wasn't until this project began about two years ago and we started sampling different vodkas. Um, that I realized, oh, you can, it can actually be very, very, very smooth. Delightful, I just, I just in fact. I wasn't paying enough money for my vodka originally, but oh, this is, so. It all makes sense. So, I like yes. it. Well, now, where can somebody um, purchase the 1961 vodka? Where do you have it available in the area? You know, we are uh, distributed by Opeachy Family Distributing, mm -hmm. and right now um, it is being sold from Buffalo to Albany. Mm -hmm. So locally here in the Finger Lakes, um, we're at DA's right here in Seneca Falls, we're at Padula's. Mm -hmm. Um, we're at um, a brand new place, Seneca Lake Wine and Spirits, right over there in Waterloo. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Ryan Vineyards, in, excuse me, Ryan's in Canandaigua, also Vineyard Spirits in Canandaigua. Um, we've got several places in Ithaca, uh, Geneva as well, so restaurants are carrying us. All listed online? Yeah, full list. Of, we've got 80, over 80 places so far. That wow, that's incredible us. for so, um, being just like week two years so, yes. that you've been in production of this and now you just launched this in February. That's quite incredible. I think part okay. of it and the beauty of it is that it's one of the first vodkas that you can find here in the Finger Lakes, produced here in the Finger Lakes, and that's um, something that people really are honing in on is the locally pro made products and um, for it to be as smooth as it is, whew, I like it. Yeah, we're very proud of it. Now, obviously, this isn't the, the ending spot. What, what are future goals for vodka, 1961 vodka? What are the future goals? So let me say, um, our short-term goals are really just to, to start building up that market share and, and market presence and mm -hmm. brand awareness um, in New York State and beyond. Um, and then we, we have some debates internally because we have some gin drinkers, we have mm -hmm. some whiskey drinkers, and what might that next product be is uh, we certainly have aspirations to bring other products to market. But That sounds like a lot undetermined of Undetermined as to what it will be at this time. Oh, she's keeping us on a cliffhanger, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, and now how can people connect with you? Um, obviously, we talked about online. Is there ways to contact you uh, through the website? Is you have a Facebook page, anything yes. through social media? I yep. know that's the big thing now. It is, <laughs> yes. I've got to come up my own learning curve. So we do have a Facebook page, and we have a Twitter mm -hmm. presence right now, um, as well as if you go to the website, we've got a, um, an email that you can contact mm -hmm. us at which is info at 1961vodka.com. And you said you did um, Taste of Spring. I did. So I there's was, different ways to connect with you through that as absolutely. well, like local events that you yes. guys are featuring. And, and to find out where our events are, that will be on our Facebook page is where okay. we keep that, that going. So yes, and every week we are someplace doing a tasting, whether it's at a liquor store. Um, I had the privilege to be doing the Seneca County Taste of Spring just last week right here in, in Waterloo, New York. So we are every week trying to get out there and just let people try it and it's very and interesting it. because people will sort of i can tell they're sort of bracing themselves because you don't vodka. normally taste vodka right, <laughs> spirit um, and they're usually very uh, pleasantly surprised at how smooth it is it's it like, is it's it's very energizing for us to get out there and get that nice feedback as well yeah definitely Does, do people give you the feedback oh absolutely. that you're looking yes. for yes. yeah you encourage them to be honest with the product yes absolutely do you have a difference in opinion in terms of um, how it's made, or is it you put it completely in your distiller's hands at King Ferry? You know, we put it. We we are still down there. Uh, like we will not bottle without being that down there. Um, Dave will taste it and say, "I'm ready," and we'll come down there and we will also taste and make sure that this is indeed the 1961 flavor, mm -hmm. right? And then what you're looking for? There. Yes, yeah, because it's hand bottled. We've got a neck label we put over there it's a bit hands-on to, to do that so we're now visiting him each constantly time we, each time we are, uh, shipping out a new batch well thank you so much for joining me Teresa. i'm really really excited about your endeavor i'm super excited to 
finish that cocktail. <laughs> yes, it's a wonderful spring day to do it. So thank yes. you so much for having me on today, Tiffany. Thank you. Um, so yeah, you can catch it online. Catch all yes, the information please, online. Yeah, come to our 1961vodka.com is the website. And we have a Facebook presence as well, and that's going to keep updated. And on Twitter, for those of you Twitter users. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us for our FLX Made podcast. And be sure you can check it out um, on our YouTube channel. Subscribe on YouTube. Not to mention um, all of your local weather, news, and sports updated throughout the day at FingerLakes1.com. That's our homepage. And we're going to be back right on June 4th with Richard Musso, the Cuca Brewing Company. I'm Tiffany Collinsworth, your host of Finger Lakes One Made, and we will be back featuring new products every month. We will catch you next time. Mm-hmm.